the technology of warfare has reached the point where war is always the indiscriminate killing of huge numbers of people. I mean, wars at one time were fought between armies. Soldiers killed soldiers. Now, and we heard tonight Dr. Gino Strada, the Italian war surgeon, tell us that the victims that he takes care of uh, in the hospitals in Afghanistan and Iraq are 90% civilians, 30% of them children. In a situation like this, war cannot be accepted anymore as a way of solving any of the problems we have in the world. Now, wars have to be uh, no longer categorized as just and unjust. War itself is unjust. In fact, we're so consumed now with fear of terrorism, uh, justified there is terrorism in the world, but it should be remembered that war is the greatest terrorism. There is no human damage done by bands of terrorists like Al-Qaeda that can possibly match the human damage done by governments possessed of enormous weaponry. Our obligation is not to the government. Our obligation is to the principles that our country is supposed to stand for. Uh, the government is an artificial creation. This is what the Declaration of Independence says. The Declaration of Independence says governments are set up by the people to achieve certain ends an equal right to life, liberty, the pursuit of happiness. When governments become destructive of those ends, those, that's the language of the Declaration of Independence, when governments become destructive of those ends, it is the right of the people to alter or abolish the government. Uh, obedience to government is the sign of a totalitarian state. Uh, disobedience to government uh, is a democratic act when that government uh, is not fulfilling its obligation to care for life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. We start out uh, being the good guys, uh, and we, we, war corrupts everybody. We've seen it just now. War has corrupted our soldiers, just ordinary guys. Uh, their minds become poisoned uh, by the atmosphere of war, and soon they are killing innocent people, soon they are torturing people. Uh, yeah, war is poisonous to everybody who engages in it.